device. As I, as I mentioned, very clear UI. Palm is known for simple UI, and we try to take the next step with this device, where the UI is almost invisible. If you look at the top area, where we show you the carrier name, we show you the time, we show you the um, uh, radios, etc., etc., and what the Wi-Fi signal strength is, it almost feels like that's part of the hardware with the color treatment that we have done, and not part of the actual UI, not taking up any additional space. At the bottom, you have your favorite applications, and you can completely customize these applications. We will ship with our set of defaults, but you can change them around. I touch contacts, and it opens up the contact list. If I want to scroll it, I just flick it. And it has a nice momentum to it, so it'll respond to how I touch it. And I, when I go to the very top, it'll actually bounce off the top. I tap on an item, and it zooms in, and now it's providing me the contact information for Sophia. I keep scrolling, and I can see more information. Now, this is where things start getting interesting. The concept of touch on this device and on this platform is not just for the visible UI area. We take touch even to the bottom black area, what we call the gesture area. So if you look carefully, when I touch this area with my finger, you see how that button lights up? Or I touch it here, you see how the button lights up? That's because it's responding to just my touch, which means that we can now use all kinds of gestures in that area. Let me show you an example. Now I'm in Sophia's contact details. If I want to go back to the list view, all I have to do is just flick back. And that's the back gesture. No matter where you are on the device, you flip back and that's the back gesture. So you flick to scroll, you tap to zoom in, and then you swipe to go back. The other cool gesture is if I just swipe up, it actually brings up the launcher. You're familiar with the traditional Palm OS launcher where you have a list of all the applications. And without having to touch a button, without having to provide you a hard key, all you have to do is to swipe up and you can launch this. And now I want to go to the Photos application or some other application. It launches the applications right from there. Uh, let's just go view some of the photos. It, they show up in a grid and I want to go through them. I can just flick across the screen, left and right. I can double tap to actually zoom into the pictures. I can double tap to go back. And again, I can flick back or swipe back and I'm back in the grid view. But I want to jot down a couple of notes, so I do the flick gesture again and I can type notes. This is all fine, but what people have really loved about our devices is the four hard buttons that we provide on some of our devices today. You have phone, calendar, email or messaging, home. No matter where, the advantage is no matter where you are on the device, maybe you are in the browser, maybe you are in email, with the touch of one button, you can go to a different application. Well, we wanted to provide you a big screen on this device. So we don't have space for all those buttons. But it is still very, very useful functionality. And the way we provide you that functionality is by using a gesture. If I swipe up, it brings up my favorite applications right there. And if I keep moving my finger left and right, it actually appears as a wave and allows me to pick whatever application I want to pick. Let's say I want to go back to contacts. I just pick up my finger and now I'm back in contacts. So no matter where I am on the device, it will let me launch my favorite application from wherever I am. So really one-handed use without the use of any UI visible on the device to go to your favorite application. This is really, really powerful. In this case, I launched the email application. So I've launched maybe three or four applications at this point. Great. If I want to go back to one of those applications, what do I do? I pretty much have to go to the launcher and I have to tap that application button again on any other mobile operating system, which is where our card view comes in. We help you manage multiple applications at the same time, like you do on your PC, right? Mm -hmm. On your PC, you have multiple windows. They're like sheets of paper on top of each other. What we imagine is a deck of cards. So every application that is open is like a card in a deck of cards. You can shuffle them, you can sort them. So what do I have to do for that? Let's go back to an application. Let's say I'm looking at email. I press the center button and it takes me to the card view. I go back and forth and I see all the cards that are active or all the applications that are active. These are all the applications that I've opened in the last five minutes or so.
So they show me exactly what was going on before I came out of those applications. Let's go to contacts. These are all very, very live. I go to contacts and it zooms into contacts and that becomes the application of focus. If I'm scrolling here and I touch the button, it goes back to the card view. You can see that the cards are live. The scrolling is happening even in the card view. These cards are not just JPEGs of, uh, they're not bookmarks, they're actually live applications running in the card view. <coughs> so I can just flick back and forth and I can pick whichever application I want to go to and that will bring itself to focus. Now I may want to rearrange these cards because I want to put, let's say I want to put uh, contacts up front as the first application. I grab it and then I just move it. I want to put photos in the end, I grab it and I just move it. So it's really, really easy. And you know, once you're done, I don't want to look at my pictures anymore and this thing is cluttering my workspace anyway. I flick it off and the application is closed. I'm done with email, I flick it off. You don't have to worry about saving your data. If you had entered anything, it will be automatically saved. All you have to do is flick it off the screen, flick it off the screen. It's actually a lot of fun. People will love clearing their workspace and just keeping it clean and killing applications all the time. So that's just a quick tour of all our gestures.